Hey guys, so it's Clarieberry and Rocky and I have been really lazy today so far. It's about one o'clock, 10 to one, and we haven't even gone out for a skate, but we have an excuse. It's actually very wet. It's been raining all day. I have only had eight dates. I had four, I had water and tea, then I had more, then I have four dates, and then I had more water, and then I had some more dates. So hopefully it'll let up and I'll at least be able to take Rocky out for a walk, but I am gonna go ahead and hit up my 35 miles. I'm still feeling great. I noticed earlier in the week I did have a little bit of soreness in my arms actually, which is weird. I have gotten that from biking before. What are you groaning me for clearing your throat? I never got that from the exercise bike, so that was pretty cool, but it went away quickly. Recovery's been great. I love you too, honey. I do. I love you. Let me get that eye booger out of your face. I know. You hate rainy days, don't you? Hey, guys. Just wanted to show you what's going on here. This is... What does that mean? Oh, come on, Tanny Raw. Shush on up now. <laughs> There's all my clothes that I shed off. My kids like to move my furniture around so they can see our tiny little TV. Pretty cute, huh? This has been kind of a backing that I've been using. I put my laptop at just... Or not my laptop, but my phone. Sometimes just set it right there as I'm watching YouTube videos or whatnot. So then today I realized, well, I wasn't really using this chair upstairs. It's a little higher. And then I put this orange, empty orange box where I could almost reach it. So if I really want to type something, I just got to kind of lean over here and uh, put my hand on this and kind of type one-handed over here. All right, so I'm having some apples and I might have some dates too. Mmm. I absolutely love that combo. Tastes like caramel apples if you've never had it before. Mmm. So good. I'm right in the middle of my ride. Got about 20 miles down, about 15 to go. Okay, guys, so I had one apple. It was a large apple, organic from Costco. Oh, they're so good. I'm so glad they have whole organic apples from Costco. And six. Six dates. Six dates. I'm feeling good, not too full. It's just pretty much a light snack. So I can get back on the bike. Keep on pedaling, baby. Just went on a walk with the rock. Gotta get this hair up. I don't get any food in my food in my hair. Air in my food. Whatever. I just wanted to show you what I'm making. I have my salad out ready to go. Going through this pretty fast. And I've got a couple of dates in my salad dressing. Well, you can see this. I've got the juice of two limes. Just juice those up on my hand. Juicer. I've got one Roma tomato and about a half of a very small red onion or purple onion. And that, oh, and I also went ahead and put about four sun-ripened tomatoes. Sun-ripened sun -ripened tomatoes. I'm also going to put in cucumbers in there and some spices and I'll let you know what else I put in there. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and do the tahini too. I've been storing this upside down in the fridge because I didn't want it. it was not stirring very well and it looks like it did the trick. It's very creamy at this point and I actually put it in a bowl so it wouldn't leak. So it was upside down in a bowl in the fridge and it looks like somebody sat here and stirred it for three days. So that's a little tip if you hadn't thought of that. Okay, so it is done. It's very tasty today. I went ahead and added cayenne pepper and um Let's see, I always forget what I, what I tell you guys is in here. I think all I added since I told you is a little bit of salt and some of the insides of the cucumbers. I try to chop up the edges like out of the long thing. You know, I'm peeling the outside and then the edges here I try to chop up because they're usually firm enough and just kind of throw those into my salad. Mm -hmm. and just like that. And the insides that get more mushy, those go into the salad dressing and it is so delicious I think I'm getting better and better at this every single day and I'm really excited this one had a lot of cucumbers in it so it blended up really nice and easy and I want to let you guys know I do not have a high power blender I use an Oster from Costco it's like $30 so if I can do this with an Oster think about what kind of beautiful dressings you can make if you have Mm, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Think about what kind of beautiful dressings you can make if you actually had a Vitamix or a really good blender. So that's it. Look at all the different flavors in there. You can just see it's popping. Popping. I love this new lifestyle. Absolutely love it. 
I'll go ahead and taste it for you guys here. Mmm. 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 For me, for me, <laughs> cayenne's coming to kick me. I was just going to say, I could almost have put more cayenne. Um, the lemon. I like two lemons. I like to up it a little bit and kind of evens out the dates a little bit more. So I'm going to put some um, water in this so the boys can have some rice. And then I just put some pinto beans on top so they'd warm up. And basically, they're going to have beans and rice. Oh, and I did have a little bit of beans that I also added to this. So it's not completely raw, but you know, I'm not doing fully raw. I'm doing routinely raw. So my routine is mostly raw. And I really foresee that as I get better and better at this, better about keeping carved up during the day, I'm not even going to need the beans. I thought I was going to have to rely on the beans for these dressings, but I did my homework. I watched enough Tanny raw videos. Thank you, Tanya. I just love you. And to think, I didn't even like watching her videos at first. I was like, this is too much. She's too happy. Like, who's too happy? And it's funny because, and I was just thinking on my walk today about certain people in my life, and it's like, who doesn't want other people to be happy? You know? And I think that's something that when you're not in the right place, when you're not doing the right things, you're not truly happy with yourself and where, how you feel, it's all about how you feel. You know, when you're eating crap food, you can't feel good. So therefore, you don't want others to feel good. That's why there's so many people trolling all these vegan accounts and people are just dirty, you know, with vegans. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Mm. I never would have thought I could make something like this out of these ingredients and it would taste so good. Okay, so at practice, I had the rest of the, um, the cucumber noodles. And then when I got home, I had a little bit of some carrot noodles with the extra sauce that I had. And then I had also a little bit of rice. And also, these little crackers, not the best crackers, and they kind of have a, I don't know, a weird texture, like, um, kind of reminds me of those oatmeal squares, which I always used to love as a kid, those cereal things, but, um, I don't know, they've really kind of grown on me. I like the flavor. Nice to have a crunch. Just had a couple of these right now. And I did have like four of them earlier, so. It's like six grams of fat. It's pretty good.